till death. The ring. Oh, I took way too much hand cream. Here. What do you want me to do? Take my, take my extra cream. What? Rub your hands against mine. Wipe some of this off. Just trying to live my life here. It's expensive lotion. I don't want to waste it. Joy, get a Kleenex and sacrifice the cream. It's touching me really. That repulsive to you. Right now, yes. The thought of clasping your greasy hands to transfer your cream into me is making me want to throw up. Are you happy? Oh, you're taking my cream. No, I'm not. You're going to take the cream. Oh, God, stop it, stop it. Okay. Is that for a play? Or is this over? All right, hey. Oh, oh, you're almost ready. You're not going to believe this. Good good Lord. They came for the f- for one toe. I don't think I'd get her clean. I could uh, harvest wheat with that thing. I'm very proud. We have to go. All right, to tell me, tell me, why are we going out with the woodcocks again? They're taking us to dinner to thank us. What for? Having them over for dinner. After they take us out for dinner to thank us, are we then required to take them out for dinner, to thank them for the thank you dinner that they took us to? Don't you see? This is a vicious circle of thank you, hell. I want to get off the merry-go-round, lady. Put on a shirt. Okay, no. Eddie, the toilet is still running. It's driving me insane. Are you ever going to fix that thing? Problem is that the toilet problem is you. You flush wrong. Okay. I know I had to flush a toilet. Been flushing toilets my entire life. Yes, but not well. A toast to our new neighbours who took us under their wing. Had us for dinner. When we didn't know anybody. Thank you, guys. Seriously. Happy to do it. So when we're all even, Stephen, the thank yous, right? Nobody owes anything, but eat anything. We just get, get to walk away clean. Oh, the French sure like their old-fashioned ants, don't they? Are you folks ready to order? I'd like to have the onion soup and then the mussels. I mean, be anybody wine? I'm okay. Bottom of that. One glass trout salad for me, please. Oh, I'll go with a half a chicken. I'm just hoping to put pommes, frets, some French fry, or French fries. Ah, uh, I was going to get, I was going to get that. So what's the problem? Don't want to get the same thing as you. Why not? Do you think it'd be more fun if we do all get different things? I think we're exactly the same. I think it'd be exactly the same fun. Either way. Just variety. Sometimes we like you to know. Taste one of us food. Yeah. You like that, wouldn't you, Mr. Trout Salad? Sweetie, maybe you should just change your order. No. Never seen anything like this in my life. I want the half chicken. Honey, I'm sure it's half the other animal. On his menu, that appeals to you. Just switch me to the steak. Benny. And all I will have to if she doesn't order the chicken, I'm going to tip Miss Steve over. I'll go, in, I'll go with the chicken. So what are you two up to for the weekend? Well, tomorrow we're going hiking. Nice. You guys hike? Oh, good God, no. I find the silence of the woods a little terrifying. We love it. Jeff actually proposed to me on a hike. Guilty as charged. It's so romantic. We were in Colorado. We hiked up this mountain to watch the sunrise. When we got up there, there was already this incredible picnic waiting for us. I hiked up in the middle of the night. I set it all up. Then I noticed his face was kind of bloody. My foot got caught on the root the way down. I went face first at the old bridge. Chipped the old bone around my ear and eye. But it was all worth it. Anyway, the sun comes up. He told me he wanted to be with me forever. Then he handed me half a cantaloupe as my favourite melon. And right there in the middle of the lit, you know, that part with the seas, there's this incredible diamond ring. Wow, it's beautiful. Pardon me, ladies. I'm going to go, go bombard down, bomb downtown Paris. 
How can you not think of this story? It's romantic. Oh, come on. A ring is buried in some stringy melon curd, his eyeball filling out. So like a horror movie. You suppose you think the way you propose to me was better? Absolutely. On the way out to the movie, Top Gun, yes. I was emotional. I asked you if you lied into the danger zone with me. And then you, Detson, broke down. We literally had to push it through the danger zone during a police strike. Now what? You know what? When I saw you push that car, I knew you were a girl for me. You've got a lot of power in that lower body. Yeah, well, I thought that Steph's ring was really nice. I seemed to call while we were rocking our bats and out of the report hole. You promised that you'd buy me an engagement ring when you had m- more money, but you never did, I see. So the problem in Little Woodstock is the Little Woodstock girl has a ring and you didn't. Maybe, hmm? Are you aware that legal, that legal, illegal or burnt diamonds as they have more commonly known, have funded civil wars throughout Africa, have played a part in deaths of thousands of innocent people. They're so sparkly, Joy. We've been together forever, okay? Diamonds are for the young, stupid people. Oh, come on. Do you really expect me to buy you this game ring? You're not like that. You know what? Maybe I am not like that. Is that so crazy? You promised me one. Okay, again, right after Top Gun. I was emotional. Goose was dead. I don't think that is so awful. I should be able to look down at my hand and see a symbol of our love. Okay, how about a symbol of our love is a fact. That we're not divorced. Here we go with the slamming. You know what? Never mind. I don't know what, why after 20 years I suspect anything different. You're a passionless, completely unromantic person, which is fun for, with you to Wilcox moved in next door. Okay, okay, fine. Going out with him opened my eyes. He actually fed her dessert. Yeah, did you see the way he choked, he choked a little? And the big, that big spoon? It was fantastic. Oh, and of course, the toilet is still running. I guess this is all our life. Hope you're happy. I'll be a lot happier if, if you learned how to flush correctly. I know how to flush the toilet. No, you don't. No, you don't. I really think it's wonderfully wonderful that you are celebrating joy this way. Okay, first of all, take two steps back because I feel your hot breath on my neck. Hey, how about that that one here there? Whoa, whoa, hold on. You can't just pick up a ring so that quickly. Okay, world well, stop. Listen, we're catty we're on catty corner to Joe the Maracaroni sausage stand. It just happens to be at the Grow Tuesday. So we're going to make all this go, go quick. How can I help? What? How can I do you? What can I do for you today? A friend uh, is looking for to buy an engagement ring. Great. How much are you looking to spend? Ten million dollars. That's why I'm buying. Uh, that's why I'm buying diamonds in a store. There's a lady food footlocker. You don't just have. Why don't you just put that one in a bag right there? Well, I really wouldn't be. Do my job. If I didn't mention the four C's, they stand for colour, cut, clarity, carrot. Hey, you don't know what, Woodstock? I think it's time for you to go up to level three and build a bear. I'm trying to help. Well, why don't you tell me a little bit about the bride? She a romantic type? Not really. She's, is she funky? Sometimes after she jogs, actually. I meant, is she free spirited or more? Look, look, look. I'm just going to level you. She's just really pissed off. I want, I really want, I don't know, I really want sausage, okay? So look, I've got 1,500 available with discovery card. I'm going to close my eyes and you're going to make it happen. Eddie, I really think that bear not going to be built itself. That's my sweet ass baby. Think fast, oh, what is it? There it is. A symbol of love. You want a ring, ring? Yep. It wasn't cheap, so feel free to start taking off your pants at any time. Check out the inscription. It's found, it's found, it's found, call 215-277. It found, call 215-227-3898. It's our phone number. Oh, so basically it's a dog tag. Okay, what exactly is your problem? 
Well, no problem, yes. What's my problem? That's a question on the fa- table. You want to know what my problem is? I don't know how to make that, that any clearer. You're sitting there watching TV. You throw this ring at me. You hit me pretty hard on the boob. I loved it. You ringed it. Oh, come on. It's gentle. Festivitas. I could pitch your softball to a soft kid. So, kid, look, the point is, I'm a little shot at your response here. Really? Yes. Joy has been, we've been married for 20 years. And after one, uh, and every, after one very battery, hard to digest French meal, all of a sudden, it demands engagement ring, which quite frankly, is like slopping a new hold ornament of a car that I've been driving since high school. So first, I'm pushing you, Datsun. Now I am your Datsun. Look, the point is, I sucked it up. I got you, stupid ring, and you're still yapping. What you obviously don't understand is that if you're not just about the ring, it's about the whole experiment, it's about the emotion, the romance. Like that, I want some of that. What? The woodcocks are done in by candlelight. On a Tuesday? Oh, no, no. They've gone too far. Now they've gone too far. Hey, buddy. Okay, that's enough. What are you doing? We'll get it. We love each other. Not now. Stop shoving it down the world's throat. We're having dinner in our house. Well, at least at the decency to drag the drapes. You've taken making me look bad. All that wine and candles and what is this veal? Yes. Well, it's phenomenal. Well, it's on this simple butter herb. Ah, oh. well, bravo, huh? Come on in. Come on, your kids eat too. You kids eat too. Look. I've got to tell you, I say about the, the old yelling. I just, what that, you know, I was hungry. Well, all I had for lunch today was those three sausages, sausages and half a chicken. I was gay. Got into a big fight with Joy, you know. She didn't like the ring I got. It didn't go over so too well. Someone should have listened to me about the emerald cut. Well, it wasn't that Woodstock. She didn't, didn't like my presentation. Well, how did you give it to her? Well, I sort of, you know, threw gently threw it at her. We've been married 20 years. You can't walk across the room every time. Can I say something? You make, you make a nice veal. Go ahead. Well, I don't think it matters if you're married, a woman, want you to make a bit, little bit of effort. I mean, no, no reason. Jeff came home today. He built me the, Help me, could you bear? All right, so you people are the experts on the creepy teddy bear love thing. I give myself over to you. What can I do to make this right with joy? Well, clearly you need to propose in the right way. Okay, so tell me how to engage to my wife, who have been married to since that you were five. I uh, don't say thing, don't say hiking because I'm allergic to most grasses and barks. Well, you could. Go for the classic, a trail of rose petals, lean up to your bedroom. And then as she gets there, she discovers that you, with a thousand lit candles. Mmm, okay, that's the trip to the two stores. What else do you got? There's, a, there's just one thing I thought what, about doing to step before. Came up with a hike idea. What was that? Well, I was going to jump out of a small plane and then parachute down into this field where there was been a string quartet playing and then pulled a ring out of my jumper. Oh, oh, what? That sounds so great. Why doesn't, why don't you do that? Because hiking so was our problem. I thought there would be more, more of us. I know the plane and parachute, it's so dramatic, so dramatic. A great story to tell people. Hiking is a great story too. I went up to three, I went up at 300 in the morning. It's pretty scary. I saw a baby wolf. Yeah. Can we just make the parachute thing our story from now on? Don't want to make that our story. I have a great story. Let's just try it and see how people respond. No. I think that's weird. All right. This is awkward. I've got to go. I'll bring back your plate. Whoa, already. So you found me right here. What is this? Well, I just wanted to welcome you home with some rose petals and candles. And by the way, there's nothing to fire on fire downstairs, is there? No. It's like a string video. Anyway, I did, I did all this. 
wait, wait, wait. You stay standing. I know the awkward hole in my pajamas. None of us need to see what we may see. None of us need to see what we're seeing right now. I, I will look straight ahead. God. Good. Are you getting back to all this? This ring joy is a symbol of our love. I feel it is beautiful. It's not nearly as beautiful as you. If you have me, I would very much like for you to be my wife still. And now if, I can, if you can help me get up, I'll hire a very weird click of my knee. There you go. That was very sweet, honey. Oh, the ring, the ring. Yeah, yeah. Ready? Ha uh ha. -huh. Come here. Thank you. I love it. Sure. Great. So you're happy, huh? You got your diamond. You go and get, you can go out now and flash it around like a fancy married babe lady. It's great. Oh Lord, I'm sorry. You didn't get, didn't come out, this, that didn't come out right. I love it. Very sweet. What's wrong? I don't know. I mean, I know you're trying so hard to get this right with everything. It's just like that, look like the Woodcocks can have a candlelight dinner on a Tuesday. Doesn't feel false at all. It's just that, not that just that easy for us to get this stuff going anymore. It feels kind of fake. False. Oh well, there's a lot of stuff feeling around right now. Punching, smothering. I just don't keep running, kick maybe. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I thought that this thing, ring, be, be, would be, you know, like a thing for us, a symbol of love. But I guess that part of our life is it's over. That's what I've been telling you. I know, I guess you were right. It's so quiet. Thomas not running anymore. Oh yeah, all the way home from the mail, I stopped at the wild hobby store, picked up a fl flapper. I know after all, it ended up only costing a couple of dollars to fix the whole thing. I don't believe you did that. You didn't even say anything. Oh, don't like the showboat. You fixed the toilet. I fixed the toilet. Could you say that in the low, that low, slow, deep, low, deep, sexy voice again? I fixed the toilet. Now I look up. The guess who's floating down the parachute? Like an angel, it's me. And right when I had to hit the ground, to, he... Here, tell them, honey, I've grew the string quartet with a flare gun. And he reached into the jump, and he reached into the jumper and pulled out this. Wasn't it the most romantic ring thing you ever, you ever, ever heard? Honey, well, can we go back to our fable now? Yeah, great to meet you guys.